music has been a big part of my life. My, my dad and mother both played instruments back in their early years. Mother was always singing, always singing. So that was the way she entertained us. There was no TV, no radio, no, no, and there was no other entertainment. It's much greater than sitting and watching a TV or, or a dumb computer screen, screen all day. Uh, to me, I get great pleasure out of it, uh, out of music. Yep, Everett could have made a career out of music, but those dreams were set aside some 60 years ago when young Everett Fulton answered his country's call. I was at World War II off the carrier WASP. It was an Essex class carrier WASP, I was Air Group 14. I was a dive bomber pilot flying SB 2Cs. I feel lucky. I wasn't one of those that got shot down or came up missing. Uh, Compared with my brother, younger than I, yes, I, I was very lucky. He enlisted to try to help free his brother, held as a prisoner of war. And after training with a young cadet named George Bush, Everett spent the next 20 years in naval aviation. But once the wars were over and his duty was done, Everett came home to Texas on a new mission in music. I use a lot of mesquite. I call it Texas rosewood. I'll get, take a mesquite stump and split it and, and uh, process my own wood. I use a, a mesquite every time I can use it. A beautiful piece of wood, just, uh, uh, automatically I start thinking, oh, what can I make out of that? They are mandolas, mandocellos, bass and tenor guitars, all one-of-a-kind Everett Fulton designs. Their beauty is enhanced with fine carvings and mother-of-pearl inlay. It all started when Everett couldn't find a good four-string guitar for sale. But back in the Navy days, young Everett the machinist learned well that necessity is the mother of invention. And when you don't have it, well, you make it. Soon fellow musicians were pulling strings for custom instruments of their own. I view it as artwork, but I design my own instruments. I don't, it would, to me, to build the same instrument over and over and over, it'd be drudgery. I do my own, cut my fretboard, I bend my own sides. I can't be idle. I, I, I don't, don't own a computer. I don't want one. I don't have time for it. And uh, I, I, there's very little on TV that interests me. So I mostly spend time in my shop and doing things that I like to do. His workshop's not fancy and the tools are downright antiques. Yep. Everett made these two for special hand carving detailed designs. Seems Everett's mama raised him on make do or do without. My wife and I were raised in, in the deep depression. We were teenagers and we had nothing and if you didn't conserve your nothing or next to nothing you had, you, you really did have nothing. Uh, it was a tough time back then. I don't think uh, a young person could understand what it was and how long it lasted. You can serve everything. I mean, it's automatic. After serving his country for decades and fighting the enemy overseas, surely Everett Fulton deserves a little R&R. &R. 
but even at the age of 86, this old flyboy just won't slow down. Everett stays young and up-tempo, thanks to the rhythm of strings. Uh, I get a certain amount of therapy. My wife complains I don't get enough my, uh, money for my instruments. But I tell her I get three or $400 worth of therapy out of, out of building a, an instrument. And uh, I, I, I really mean that. It, it's, it's, I'm 86 years old and there's not too many 86 years old people that are still able to use their hands and drive cars. And, uh, I quit flying about, uh, oh, it's about 30 years ago I quit flying. His fingers may be gnarled by age, but they instinctively pick an unforgotten tune. No, Everett won't be performing again. His dance hall days are far behind him. These days, the instrument itself is the source of pride to a very proud man, an old pilot who charted a new course by changing his tune. Oh, I love strings above all other instruments because they have melody. It's very enjoyable to me. Any string, good string music. I love hearing strings. <laughs> 